In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I take a look at some tools to test Google Cloud Platform's networking performance. Will we find the perfect multitasker? Stay tuned to find out. Over the past few weeks, we've been peppered with all sorts of performance questions centered around networking and how to configure GCP to get the best possible results. Now, uh, we've got a couple of videos talking about some developers that we were able to help. But before that, I wanted to take a moment and talk about some of the tools available to profile GCP's networking so that you don't have to write that code yourself. First is NetPerf, which is a commonly used tool for measuring maximum TCP and UDP bandwidth performance. NetPerf works by hosting a server and a client on different machines and can measure the throughput between the two ends, either unidirectionally or bidirectionally. When you execute the client, it connects to the server and sends a boatload of data around. Now, once you install NetPerf, the uh, server version, called NetServer, will be run automatically, so you just need to pick which instance will be the client and execute the NetPerf binary to get the details on the bandwidth conditions. IPERF is a TCP and UDP benchmark and has several advantages over NetPerf, like uh, bandwidth shaping and threaded support so that multiple streams can be created. Getting IPERF working is somewhat straightforward. Simply install IPERF on each of your target instances and run the server on one and the client on the other. What we get is an output from IPERF is a timed stamp report of the amount of data transferred and the throughput measured. Now, while IPERF and NetStats can help you track latency and throughput, the trace route tool is useful for measuring and displaying the route that packets take across a network. It records the history of the route, as well as a round trip time of three packets received from each successive host in the route. If you'd like to see this for yourself, run Traceroute on your home machine. Here's uh, my result. When you can see that the first hop to the ISP is significantly slow given our distance from that service. Meanwhile, check out the distance between a VM running on Google Compute Engine and Google.com much less hops. Now, once you have the tools, it's important to address another issue, how to properly test things. This can be a tricky problem, uh, since setting up the wrong test can lead to inaccurate results, which isn't something you want to be making decisions off of. This is exactly why Google maintains the Perf Kit Benchmarker project. Its authors have done the due diligence to set up their testing harness correctly and reduce the inserted error that might skew the results. So if you're serious about testing your performance, it's worth playing around with. Now, if you're interested in a few more details, uh, including some gotchas with the firewalls to get these tools working on Compute Engine, check out the article for this video in the description below. And if you want to get more great cloud performance content, check out the rest of our videos, because when it comes to performance, Every millisecond counts.